What's up, guys? It's Spicy Penny. I am back. I'm sorry for about the week of hiatus of not uploading. Basically, the gist of all you need to know is, like, I'm planning out my future. It's, like, down to the final months before I'm officially done living with my parents, and I'll be, like, you know, just kind of fighting through the wild of life on my own. So I'm just kind of getting everything settled with that. So I had to take a week off, kind of plan all that out. But I'm back. Uploads are good to go again, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Get started with this Tuesday talk, and the topic for this one is going to be old gen versus new gen. Specifically Black Ops 3, because that's what's relevant right now, and I like to keep these relevant. So I don't know where to begin, because I'm sure all of you have seen the difference in graphics between the old gen versus new gen. We'll start with graphics. Like, old gen, BO3, graphics literally look like, and I'm, old gen means like 360 in the PS3. Old gen graphics just are the worst thing I think I've ever seen. They look like Call of Duty, like 2 and 3, if any of you guys played that. They look like COD 2 and 3 graphics. Looks like shit you'd see out of Super Mario 64 style for graphics. It's not good. It's really worse than World at War, COD 4, any of those. Like, it's just bad. And then obviously the new gen graphics are, you know, crisp, perfect. They just look great. Everyone knows that. That's what's advertised. But no, the old gen graphics, like, they are just being the biggest douchebags to anyone who stays old gen. I get it's like a luxury thing to go new gen, you know, pay for luxury and all that to get all that stuff. But, you know, if we're staying on the old gen, shouldn't we at least be able to have the exact same graphics that we have now? And you're not reducing it to just a pile of shit. The game's not even going to have the single player on it. Uh, I'm not going to have theater as far as I know. I'm trying to remember a few other things. I don't know if it's going to have zombies or not. I really don't. I wish I did. But it's, it's missing a lot of things for the old gen version of BO3 for PS3 and Xbox 360. It's literally the biggest kick in the nards, and it's still 40 bucks. And new gen is obviously everything it's hyped up to be. It has zombies, multiplayer theater, killer campaign, all that stuff. Be like, what are you doing, Vonderhaar? You're just giving us the biggest kick in the nards right now for anyone who's old gen. And if I could upgrade, if I had the money, the possibilities to actually go new gen, I would. I would love to. It would be great. I'd have a lot more people to play with, to be honest. But, you know, I just <laughs> I don't have that money because I'm sorry I'm not David Vonderhaar or anybody who has money. I don't know. Quit rips in chat because I'm poor. And I'm sure a few of you guys are who are staying on old gen, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do when BO3 comes out. Sadly, I am a corporate faggot, and I am going to end up buying BO3 for the 360, make do with what I have, and I'll just play with that pile of shit and get laughed at, but I'm still going to play it because I'm a piece of shit. I'm sure a bunch of you guys are also going to play it because we're all just pieces of shit who's fallen into Vondi's trap of BO3 old gen. God fucking damn it, fuck us, right? Like, why? Why do you need to do that? We've supported you. We're, we're just supporting you. Why do you got to punish us for supporting you because we don't support you on your most expensive thing? We're still supporting you with what we have. We're still getting the game. You're like the reviver of Call of Duty. If this Call of Duty sucks, we're done for. And you're basically trying to make it suck by doing all these shitty things to it to make us try to have the money to get new gen, better VO3. So upsetting. Like, it really is. Just the graphics alone, the biggest kick in the nards you could do. Minus the campaign. Minus, I'm not sure, but I I, I heard zombies. All the fu Come on, Vondi. You're literally just dicking us over right now. I don't think I need to state anything more than that, to be honest. I'm trying to think of what else I need to state. It's literally just a matter of a giant foot just shoved right in the nards. Or if you're a girl watching this video for whatever reason, right in the muff cabbage. And the girl's gone. All right, I'll back to the guys. Yeah, no, there's literally nothing else to say. It's just an upsetting thing. I get upset thinking about it, talking about it. It's awful. And of course, I'm still going to get it because I'm a piece of shit. Anyways, that wraps it up for this Tuesday Talks. Also, quick thing I do want to say, I'm changing the WTF moment of the week to, I think, just Ninja Diffuse of the week. Because I realize that, you know, a what the fuck moment is like a random occurrence. It's not something you can really go for. Anybody can go for Ninja Diffuse, though. Those are really fun to do, and you can get really creative with those. So I do want to see what you guys can do with that. Still going to be powered by Jerky XP, so hit some Beast Ninja Diffuses for Monday, and you will win some Jerky XP. Uh, uploads are good to go again. I'll try to do that story series I was talking about. I'm going to plan trying to do, it's not going to be a cut com. It, it'll just be like a regular commentary with the gameplay. Not going to cut it up because I'm not that guy and it won't be on free for all. But yeah, I'll just tell a story of my life because I think my life has a few interesting stories. We'll see how it goes. Also, I'm going to be playing a lot with Razzle on Twitch and YouTube possibly. We're doing a Minecraft series. A lot of awesome things planned. You guys are going to love this. My channel is going to go great. Also might do a Ninja Diffuse series. There's a lot of things planned. You guys are going to love it. Stick around. Anyways, my name is Penny. Stay spicy. I am back and I am out. Peace.